Hey YouTubers, this is Assassin Midget, and I'm playing with Kessler, and we're going to be playing some Ten Survival. We're going to be playing some Ten Survival. We're going to be playing a, uh, we're going to be playing a custom game, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, during this video, I may give out some tips and tricks. Wait, you said if you go in for this level on your friend request, friends are listening. So guys, let's go play some zombies with the CDC. CDC for the win! Woo! And Kieran told me to tell you that he has a bulk sword that likes candy. And can I just say guys, a lot of rules that me and Kieran have for zombies is the round one up to three, if you take another person's kill when they're like shooting or going to knife it, then it is um, kill steal. But over that, that is all, that's only on town or farm though guys, so yeah. Okay, okay. He's Okay, he said that it's only on like, when you're in like the starting room, like on survival, in the streets, so yeah. Okay, then he said the open world. Kier, Kier, let's, let's, let's not go. And also where there's a breach, he says. So, um, so yeah guys. Just like to say that. I mean, it's up to you if you like can okay, follow this, but and there's another thing I would like to say, guys, and it involves me going over to Tombstone. In my opinion, guys, Tombstone is a waste. Screw you, Tombstone. Yeah, I'm not sure too. Um, and well, I just tell, well, I just tell you why I think um, Tim Stone's a waste, guys. It's because you have, you've got like four people on Tim Survival, over wave 20. You've got two guys down. One guy is, one guy is just kind of completely overrun, and this other guy gets down to, after revive the guy. The guy just goes to revive him. Just as he revived. Okay, and then just before this guy revives him, the guy just goes and kills himself, and then another guy gets down, and it's like, dude, what the heck? You made me waste. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, yeah. Um, another tip I would say, guys, is uh, at the start, what I do, guys, is this is one of my techniques um, on town survival. If the box is in the alley, then once you've got enough points, you use the box twice, and then save up for perks, and then and then once you've got all your perks, and then once you've got. And then once you've got like two guns and all your perks, then uh, try like focus on getting like try focus getting two guns from the box then, and then start focus on pack punching guys. But that's just my techniques. You know you don't have to use these, but I just think that that technique is good for money. Kieran says that if you want any tips for being a point more, go on his channel. But, uh, yeah.
Now that I've got two guns from the box, I'm going to just try to focus on getting my perks. Unless, well, obviously, when this RPG runs out, then I will, I will use the box again. But, yeah. Killed some zombies! Yeah. Ice cream man from Mexico, he is the best dad everyone knows. See that, guys? Utter annihilation. And as you can see, the gear just got down. I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's go revive him. <laughs> yeah, Kira, I just called you Bill. What an idiot. Yeah, I just called you Bill area. <laughs> You're a nugget, Kieran. You're a nugget. No! So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm just going to save up and try to get my perks. Another thing I would also like to eat is douchebags who want to put you on town survival like to EMP perks. No, really? Really, what I think, guys, is that um, EMP grenades, in my opinion, should only be available from the box um, on uh, grief and uh, transit for killing the. Uh, Electric zombie guys, that's the only time I think EMP sh grenade should be used because uh, I just think they're really annoying. Because, like, you're like over around, uh, you're like over around 20 or something, and you just got a big massive train, then somebody's like, Hey, look, there's Chicken Dog, man, I've got EMP, yay! They won't give a crap, and then they just EMP it and then, well, everybody gets down and it's like, oh, great bunch of oops so, uh, yeah guys moving on um, I'm probably going to have to put this uh, YouTube video in parts guys, so, yeah I'll do that about every 14 minutes and, uh, yeah Yeah, I get a proper edge. So yeah, guys, as you can see, because Kieran just constantly uses the box, he gets down 24-7. And then, um, another thing I would like to say, guys, is um, some people may call me sick from five and tear, and there's more than doing that. I did that on purpose, so that time, guys, just to show you what I meant by that. And uh, I'm sorry about that, Kieran. But, um, some people may think it's sick that if I revive Kieran in a horde of trains like I did, that that would be just totally sick, because they're, like, losing some money. But, guys, the thing is, that that is not sick at all. If you think about it, they are bright men on hell. They're about to die. You're being, like, closely followed by a train. Well, you know, you're not just... You're not... You're not just gonna, like... You're not just gonna, like, leave them to die. I would rather revive them inside the train just to buy them some more time, just so I can, like try get the train off me but 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 uh, 
you YouTubers might think otherwise, but what I would prefer to do in that situation was would be to uh, provide them inside the train just to buy them some time, because it's better to buy them more time. Here, I've got to edit this part. Then again, I've got to edit this part. You can get it when you want. I'm just going anyway. Edit. Anyway guys, this is the end of part one, come back for part two.